Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. Today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Galaxy Opal, Rudy Fernandez, who looks like an absolutely awesome option at the point guard position, one of the best budget PGs in my team, considering he's already under 40,000 MT, which I think is an absolute steal, considering that I'm recording this video after he's been out for 25 minutes. Thought he'd be more, more expensive than this, to be completely honest, but he looks like an absolute monster. Is only 6'6", so he's not the tallest point guard in the world, but he's definitely tall enough to compete, and I think he's going to be a really, really good card in my team. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, help me push towards the uh 11 000 subscriber mark on the channel brain's not working today but i upload every single day would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it take a look at mr rudy fernandez so six sixth point guard position or shooting guard definitely a planet point guard though not an offense 96 defense coming with a 95 driving layup 90 midi 92 three ball 95 driving dunk 94 ball handle 89 steal 90 perimeter, 79 block, 82 interior. The defensive interior isn't like incredible, but uh, 92 speed, speed ball, and Excel is super solid. 92 lateral quickness as well. Stats are very good. 17 hops are acrobat, bully, fast twitch, fearless finish, limitless takeoff, posterizer, agent three catches, you limitless range, clamp breaker, handles for days, hyperdrive, quick first step, anchor challenger, clamps, glove. Pretty much all the key, most important hops, especially for a guard to have. 17 hops as, or 17, 34 gold badges as well include badges like Ampton, Blinders, Corner Specialist, Dead Eye, Guard Up, Slippery Off Ball, Bailout, Break Start. Uh, unpluckable chase down ice interceptor off ball pass pogo stick rebound chaser like he's pretty damn complete to be completely honest bad as he's missing i mean rise up is one i would add as well as vice grip and brick wall those three are about it for mr rudy fernandez um I'm comparing him to guys like Luke Walton, Scotty Barnes, I guess kind of Cade Cunningham, Devin Booker, Jimmy Butler, like the top point guards in the game. That's kind of where I want to see where he fits in. Another guy that I'm going to be comparing to at that level is also going to be uh, Mr. Uh, Steve, what's his name? Sorry, Sean Livingston is another card that I'm really interested in by, out of the set. But the thing about this Rudy Fernandez card is that he's got Steph Curry base, Seth Curry upper, which I think is an awesome release. Like I actually really like Seth's upper as well in addition to Steph's base. He's also got a lot of Steph's six. He's got Steph's size up. He's got Steph's escape. He's got, so he's the mention also means he has the Curry slide. He's got the Steph behind the back in the full court he's basically a six foot six steph with a 40 inch vertical vertical if y'all understand that reference because obviously he's an elite slasher as well so might even put that in my title i don't know but he moves pretty damn good obviously his release is going to be exceptional i mean he's going to have everything you could pretty much ask for on the offensive end of the core like he's going to do everything really really well i've missed time that dunk badly but like he's going to be able to do everything you could ask for in terms of slashing shot creation and shooting on the offensive end of the court obviously has half handles for days as well which is really really nice so pretty much has everything you could ask for on that end and then defensively he's got half anchor clamps glove and challenger which might be the four most important defensive hops i don't know why i keep spinning i think i got stick drift on this controller really need to get a new controller because that's going to mess me up in gameplays and stuff but i do think this card is going to be really good and really fun to use so let's hop into a game and see what rudy fernandez can do I will be completely honest. I don't think I've played an online game of 2K in like a week. So I'm if I suck, that is what I'm going to blame, not Rudy Fernandez. So keep that in mind. But good pass in the first possession. Gets us an assist with Yao Ming. We're back in the flow of things now, but I was definitely taking a break from this game when I was out of town. Then even when I got back in town, while I was making some videos, I definitely was still not have not been playing the game. So might not be at my best today in today's gameplay. So keep that in mind. I do apologize if that is the case. But super solid start on both the offensive and defensive end. Attacking the rim all the way to the rim. Chill. Good pass out. Out. yep we're good now reset the ball see if we can get him stuck good pass rudy chill good move yes sir we're gonna shoot over the top i don't think he's gonna contest well enough he didn't contest well enough we green a 20 let's go beautiful start for rudy fernandez super smooth easy to green release um he's gonna be obviously super solid defensively as well has that half challenger half clamps half glove all those badges half anchor as well which is a huge bad so a lot to like about this card so far that felt was that monte ellis that really for whatever reason looked really fast i don't know why his burst looked so quick out of that but behind the back he's got the curry behind the back it's not quite as good as the little behind the back but it's Still, obviously, a very good behind the back as Rudy attacks the rim, and he didn't dunk the ball. I don't know why he didn't dunk the ball, but he didn't, and that, I guess, is okay. So, if he had dunked it, which I thought he was going to, he would have been just fine, but unfortunately, he did not want to throw down a dunk there, but that is okay. Attack the rim here. Uh, let's get a Rudy Fernandez actually set up, set ourselves a pick and roll, please, or something like that. Uh, come set here, pick the pop, or pick and pop i should say we green the midi beautiful stuff five points and an assist already for rudy fernandez blitz the screen ah, that close i was one step away from getting ourselves a bump steal as well so i'm cool with it though go get up in lillard's face make him work yes sir make him work the ball at the court beautiful good d rudy yes sir good d baby yep good lateral chill good help good help dino back to the corner beautiful good defense don't get run around beautiful good defense yes sir i just over blitzed that we're good though we're good good d oh my gosh what a defensive possession that was super solid right there catch pump fake chill i think he's got normal fade i'm not 100 sure he might have trade fade no he's got normal fade fade for me rudy oh my 
Seven percent fade. He's hooping. I'm dogging dudes right now. Haven't not played the game in a while. I'm kind of impressed by how well I'm playing. That's a good shot. Oh, he didn't knock it down. I thought he. I thought he might have greened that. But we got just enough of a contest with Rudy for him to not get. Or not not knock it down. Good shot. Oh man, Rudy. He's got 12 of our 14. He is scoring at will on the offensive end of the court. He is looking like an absolute monster as a shooter, and he's playing defense as well. Oh, never mind. He got his ankles absolutely broke there by D by Dame. So let me shut up because he just got kind of dogged. That was a flagrant foul. They didn't call it a flagrant, but that was a very aggressive, unnecessary foul by Mr. Dino Raja. Should have been a flagrant one in my opinion, but can't challenge fouls in 2K anyway. So that is all right. I think Dean, uh, Rudy does have takeover as well. He does. Beautiful. So we can shoot from anywhere inside a half court with off limitless at this point. We're shooting this one. We got a crab. We're going to shoot it and we're going to knock it down from deep. Crab him deep with Rudy Fernandez. And that's another really, really deep four pointer that he knocks down. This card might be my favorite point guard that I've used outside of like he he's right up there, man. In terms of his offensive skill set, even though he doesn't. Why did you foul? Even though he doesn't have like Trey Escape or Lilith behind the back or a couple like the really, really top SIGs, his SIGs are still good enough and his badges and release are still great enough where the fact that he's also got good enough size at six for six makes him for sure like one of the best point guards in the game. Like I think this card is a lot like Devin Booker in a lot of ways to be completely honest. Maybe even a little bit better version of Booker to be completely honest, but I think he's an absolute monster that's a force that was not a great shot that was a fake open uh, but we'll live with it play this good yo that is deep good shot though i props to him for pulling that one that's a good shot unfortunately even though there's two minutes left in the game i kind of don't think it's going to matter because we're already up by so much but escape double escape chill good move rudy yes sir stop on the oh he shot a pull up midi he's still going to grain it we'll take the bucket but could have had a three there if he hadn't shot a pull up that could easily been a steal there for Yao as well but that's fine play this back door play the slip good defense play up high good now recover back out get a jump good contest no foul ah he's going to He's going to keep the ball, but 4.4 seconds, it's not going to really matter. We're going to get ourselves a stop regardless. But like I was saying, like I feel like this card is a lot like Devin Booker in a lot of ways. Very similar size, uh, similar in that he's got a really good release, fun to move with, all that stuff. Definitely a really, really good card. Also, they both have curry base. So I feel like he's very, very similar to Devin Booker. Uh, so wherever you have Devin Booker in terms of the top shooting guards or top point guards, I should say, that's probably where you're going to have Rudy Fernandez as well. Walk back for three. That is a nasty move. I have got to green that because that was such a clean move right there. Triggered that walk back. Perfect but uh, at this point it's really not gonna matter like I think this is a top five point guard in the game I'll say that with complete confidence where he ranks among that top five in all honesty is probably close to personal preference but he is a top five point guard in my team right now that I will say with complete confidence he's an absolute beast definitely one of the most fun point guards that I've used this year as well in terms of being able to move but also being able to defend and having enough size for that as well I think that's really valuable uh, pass inside to Yao easy assist I think we could pretty much call the gameplay there 18 points two assists I don't really know what else we got to see I guess there's one thing we haven't really seen that's dunking. He's still a very very athletic card can definitely dunk the ball at a super high level So maybe we'll go see if we can get ourselves a contact dunk here to end it out uh, Attack the baseline all the way to the rim Rudy Fernandez. Hey, and I mistimed it That's my fault not Rudy's but you know what we're gonna call the gameplay there Tie back to the main menu and let's review the card All right, so in conclusion top five point guard in the game it's really, I could pretty much call it there. I feel like he's very similar to Devin Booker uh, in that they both have the Curry slide. They both move very well. They both have Curry's base. They're both six foot six, the point guard position. They're both really nice releases. They're just very similar cards in a lot of ways, to be completely honest. But this card feels so good. I mean, he's such a solid slasher. That's like the one part of this card that we didn't even really look at in this game was how good of a slasher he is. And obviously, he doesn't have the Hoff badges of a guy like Devin Booker, but they're very, very similar cards. Statistically, Book is going to be slightly better. That is is no doubt about it really across the board he's going to be a better statistical card badge wise they're kind of similar i mean he does have more hoffs for sure uh he's got 30 base hoffs versus rudy having 17 base hoffs defensively they're probably going to be relatively similar as well i think devin booker is probably a slightly better version of a rudy fernandez overall but I don't know. Maybe selfishly or animation-wise, I like Rudy Fernandez a little bit more. I feel like he plays a little better, but maybe that's just me. With that being said, he is a top five point guard in the game. That is something that I am certain about, and I'm a big, big fan of this card. So hopefully y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.